piece of trash already? Oh yeah. It's an unopened PBR. <laughs> now that's some treasure. Oh man, yeah. It's a shorts beer. Unopened. We'll have to add that to our unopened river beer testing. So the last couple weeks cleaning up the river, I've come across a lot of glass bottles, probably over 50. A lot of them are broken, but I was able to find three that were brand new, unopened. Um, we got a PBR, we got a Budweiser Select, and we've got a microbrew. This is from Shorts Brewery. We can tell from the cap right there. Um, it's a local brewery here in town. So what I've done, and what my plan is, to test these beers, to pour them out, see what they look like after spending some time in the river, uh, taste them if they don't look too bad. And I've also gotten a PBR, fresh one, to compare against. I've got what I believe, I believe this is a Soft Parade, is the brand. Um, can't tell for sure, but that's what I picked out. And I couldn't find a single for the Budweiser Select, so that one we're just going to be testing by itself and not comparing. For this unopened river beer test, I'm going to be bringing my wife in, um, and we're going to test these beers and see how they taste. So I got my wife Brittany here with me, hey. and we're going to kick things off with the Budweiser Select. Um, I found this one out in Platte River. It was, I mean, as you can see, it's covered in river gunk. I don't even know what that is. LG, river slime. I can barely I feel like tell what it is. like there were shells on it when we first Yeah, got there, it. Well, there was like zebra mussels on it. Um, it's pretty rusted up on the top. So we're going to have Brittany open this up. And right. we'll pour it out and see so, how she looks. I'm going to first try to twist it off. Which is not happening. Alright. Alright. Oh, there we go. The top's a little rusted. Oh, it's still smoking like a fresh beer. Let's see if we can get the twist off. Oh my goodness, it's broken. The cap is falling off. Yep. So it, the cap is totally rusted. And there's a little rust on the rim. If you look close, there's a little bit of floaties in there. There are some floaties. There are some floaties, but it's still fizzing. It's so cool that it's still fizzing now. All right, we're both gonna do a little test. All right. How long do you think this was in the river for? I would guess, judging by some of the other things I found, this was probably in there for like three or four years. Right. How's it smell? <laughs> it almost smells like it's fermented. It really like, does. Even longer. All right, let's try it. All right, cheers. Yeah, let's cheer. It's flat. It's definitely flat. It's flat. Very flat. Definitely flat. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun for the Budweiser Select. Super flat. Can still, can still taste. You know. It tastes like crap. Not happy with the <laughs> three to four year old Budweiser Select, but it has been cold in that river for years. Next up, we'll do the PBR. All right, PBR. So this we have a fresh one to compare it to. Yep. And this one I found in the Boardman. Uh, this one doesn't look nearly as bad. I'd say this one's been in there for maybe a year or less. It's pretty, pretty nasty on the top. But you can still see the label. Mm -hmm. See how it cracks open. Alright. Well, it's still. <laughs> kind of smells fishy. <laughs> it, smells fishy. <laughs> it smells a little. Ooh. It's well, you know, maybe we should have cleaned off the top yeah. before opening it. <laughs> um, we're, we're gonna be sick. Yeah. Still really fizzy, nice head on it. Right. 
this one doesn't have any floaties in it. it looks good and clear. Oh, yeah, you like that crown in there? <laughs> All right. The PBR River Bear. Cheers. Cheers. Tiny bit flat, but it tastes like PBR. Yeah, it's still better than the Budweiser Select. Way was. better than the Budweiser. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think one taste is good. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. So the PBR also flat, no floaties. Now let's definitely look at should that. have cleaned the top off. Now the regular PBR. Oh yes, let's do it. Yeah. So this is the regular PBR right here. I would say that PBR is a bit cloudier. Yeah. River. Oh it's, yeah, it's yeah. way cloudier. Hmm. Alright, so the last one here is our Shorts beer. Uh, I'm really excited about this one because Shorts is a local brewery here and we do really like their beers. Um, again, we're hoping that it's a soft parade, but we'll pour it out and see. So, let me pop that bad boy open. Alright. That one's got some. All right, now let's see what the sand. the new one looks like when you open it. Same, pretty much the same. I don't think that's the same. I don't think we got the right one. Well, we'll see. So pour the river beer. All right, the river let's beer. See. Well, that might be a local's light. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were way off. We were off. All right. Well, uh, I guess at least we've got a fresh soft parade. Now, do you, does anybody know what this short beer is? Is your local? There's a couple floaties in there, but we'll give it a little taste. It's the best yet. It kind of tastes like a, like a Jolly Pumpkin. Spiced up. It's happy. It's really happy. Mm, it's good though. So leave a comment below. To tell us what flavor you think that is if you're local. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll be posting more videos soon. Mm -hmm.